Hi folks, how you doing? I want to show you something that's very awesome. I just got this for Christmas, an early Christmas present for my wife. And this is terrific. This is a great uh, investment. Um, it's the 15 amp, 5 horsepower log splitter. It runs on 110 electricity. And it's awesome. It's because I heat with wood, and uh, let me show you. There's my wood pile there, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Whoops, jeez, how this works. Try. Okay, let me see here. Okay, right here. It's a home light. It's a home light, 15 amp electric log splitter. Electric. You don't have gas, nothing. You don't have to be out in the cold. This is awesome. You, there's a button here to press down and this button here to, you have to use both hands. So it goes in like this and it cuts it um, or splits it. I'm going to show you a piece right now. Now this cannot fit in my wood stove. So I'm going to show you what this baby can do. It's a 5 horsepower or not uh, 15 let me think, let me rephrase that. It's 15 amp runs on 110 electric it's 5 ton. It's a 5 ton electric log splitter from Home Light. I bought this at Home Depot but I'm not gonna promote it because they're idiots so um, let me show you how this works you gotta stand back stand back here because if you stand on the side something will kick out you know stand back see that won't work it's, it's it's only a five ton. That's not going to split that. I'll have to split that by hand. Five ton. But it, it does work. Uh oh. Let me um, get a hatchet here. There you go. I'm going to have to get this later. Let me grab another one here. Here's another one. Uh, now only it only um accepts 20 inch logs. So if you can get there, so this is over 20 inch, but if there is a, a gap in there that will fit right in there. So um 20 inch logs, don't matter what size it is, well it probably I think it's they say on the box it's like 20 inch in diameter. You can find this. Whatever cuts it, whatever you know splits it. Let's see if this will work. Look at that baby go. If it don't go all the way through, I tip it, flip it around. And put it in that way and see what happens here. I might not, oh, can't do that, but I could probably split the rest of the way. Maybe if I drop it. I'll just split with an axe. But it started, you know. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Let me look. Let me get in their log.
There we go. This this might work. This will not fit in my door of my stove. So put that there like this. This will definitely work, I think. I hope. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That'll fit in my stove perfectly now. Where the other one at? Yeah. Now, part two of this is I can cut for kindling. You know, I can cut in strips. I can make kindling out of it. Okay. Now, this regular piece of wood, it'll fit in my stove. But there's times that I run uh, my stove. Uh, I'm, let me fix this so I don't have to bend down. There's times that I'm out doing something and my stove, you know, goes out. So you want to put it probably an inch down from the corner. And it's a pretty good piece of, you know, kindling. Kin, kin, kindling? Kindling? Whatever you call it. But this is awesome. I love it. It's the best thing my wife ever bought me for Christmas. Thank you very much. This is awesome. I'm down here all night long doing this. Now, I'm in the process. Oh, this is not going to work very good because there's a knot there, you know? Knots. I have a problem with knots. A lot of knots in it. There we go. There's a piece. There's a piece right there. I can just peel it off. You know? And you can also do it smaller, really smaller stuff. There's another piece. You don't, you don't have to go all the way in all the way in to if you can just rip it off. There's another piece. Um, let me get you a smaller. Let me get a smaller piece. Okay, this is a thinner piece, a smaller piece, and then just same way, just take an inch off at a time. 